Hello guys, uh, Zaram here. Uh, so, last episode, we were messing around with APIs, uh, application programming interfaces, and basically how they worked, and how they're useful at unclogging code. So, in this episode, I'm going to do a bit on how to interact with a peripheral. Now, a peripheral is, a real, for a real-world example, what I could say is, um, an external hard drive connected to your computer is a peripheral. Um, your TV screen is a peripheral. Your mouse, your keyboard, basically anything that gives an input or output. And um, I have one of those with me in this episode. A monitor. An advanced monitor to be exact. And this thing, uh, it will let me uh, print off stuff to it. So it's like a really big computer terminal. Now, if we want to mess around with this, we have to make a variable. Now, just to make it a bit easier for me to remember, I'm going to name it mon for monitor. Now, if you want to use a peripheral, we type peripheral. And then we can use all these different types of um, yeah methods to, to connect to the peripheral, use the peripheral. Now... When you do peripheral.wrap, it lets you bind a variable to a peripheral. Now, uh, when you do wrap, you have to put in a string or a, a word with um, quotation marks. So, what you put in here is the side that it's on, and my monitor is to the right, so I'm just going to put right there. And then that should be pretty much it. That uh, variable is now connected to my monitor. <coughs> Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do mon.clear, and that's basically going to wipe the screen. Now if we run this, you'll see basically nothing happened, because there's nothing on there. But we can do mon.write, and then we can put some text in there. So uh, we can put some like, hello world, the most basic uh, program that you can do. In fact, let's just do... Now, with a monitor, it's not like a computer. It's not friendly when it comes to um, making things look nice. You have to reset everything yourself. So that's why I've had to set the cursor post to 1, and I've had to clear the screen. So if I run this now, you'll see Hello World. I've been playing about with this monitor for a bit, so that's why it's that big and why it's that color. If we want to fix that, what we can do is we can do... <coughs> And if we run again, we can see it's now the correct, what you would have got first. The way um, monitors work is they kind of like save what you used previously, so they don't wipe themselves like a computer. Now, of course, if we want to mess around with this, we can change this a bit. We can put this to, say, cyan, and we can change this to 3. And you can see we get cyan text, and it's in the middle. Well, not in the middle, it's uh, sign text, it's pretty big. But if we did want to put it to the middle, what we could do is we could just mess around with these settings a bit. So we got something that we liked. Uh, that looks about right. Oh, I was a bit off. Hang on, let me see. Let me see if I can get the spot on. Five. And I think a five here would be good. Oh, that looks about centre, but yeah. That's how you mess around with uh, peripherals. Now, with peripherals, what you can do is you can um, you can do several things. You can uh, use something called methods, and each method is basically like a, using print or uh, clear or anything like that. Anything that does a function or uh, runs, you know, just a line of code that's runnable. And with a monitor, you have several. Um, different methods. In fact, I think there's like 24 or something large like that uh, that, that you can use. So yeah, I'll show you how to do them, but first I just want to quickly go over why I'm using write and why I'm not using mon.print. Mon.print doesn't exist and you can 
in a computer uh, use write. See, it comes up here. Um, I'll give her a live example right now. You see what it does there. Now, it's actually a bit weird here, and that's because the way print works and write works is different. Um, when it comes to writing, you'd usually get like, and you notice how it goes into the next line and continues and so on. That's what print does. It prints something off and it goes to the next line in your terminal. With write, um, what you can see is it doesn't do the next line. It uses the same y-axis and continues going along the x, constantly printing um, this string um, Yeah, with each other. So yeah, just spamming high a lot. And that was a little test program I had because I always wanted to go over this. And it's broken. <clears throat> um, that was the password uh, program that I made a while back that you can find in my uh, workshop series. But yeah, with monitors, you can get methods. And if we were to make a new... Oh, God. If we were to make a new like program called method, what we could do is we could do peripheral dot get methods, right? And I'm going to put write. So now what it's done is, hang on. So methods equals peripheral dot get methods. Now methods m is a table now. It has a bunch of stuff in it. It's one variable with a bunch of stuff. Now, if you've seen in my previous episodes, the way that we're able to print off these tables is um, using some clever uh, knowledge in for loops. So, uh, for i in i pairs m two. Okay, so I'm making a for loop. I'm saying for the amount of stuff in M um, do this code. So we'll make it print 1 no uh, I dot 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 M I so as you see what it does is it prints off the cycle that it's on right now and then it prints off the specific element in M. So what we can do now is if we run this we get a bunch of stuff and as you can see it ran the cycle 20 times. There's 20 different methods that you can get from a monitor and this doesn't just work with a monitor, it works with many other stuff as well. Uh, mods and it also works with different other types like other computers as well and uh, modems so yeah uh, that's how you mess around with a peripheral in computer craft. So, uh, I'm Xylem, and I'll see you later. So I'm checking out.